Science is all about asking questions. For example, is it time for our first guest? The answer is yes. But that was an easy one. Most of the science questions are a lot harder. Ballet, the classic dance that originated during the Italian Renaissance, brings to mind graceful movements, flowy tutus, and romance. But for most of us, what it doesn't bring to mind is physics, space travel, and robots? That's because most of us aren't quantum physicists and ballerina Merit Moore. The first time I had a dance class was when I was 13, which is quite late. And I was told I would never make it as a professional ballet dancer. And so I had this passion for it, but I didn't really think it was gonna be possible for me to pursue that career. And I always loved science and physics and just asking the questions of like, what's out there in the universe? During my PhD, I just thought, you know what, why not both? Why can't I pursue both? Today, I'm visiting Merritt at the Boston Ballet, where she's going to demonstrate how she brings her two passions together. So you're a ballerina and a quantum physicist. How does physics help you become a better ballet dancer? I don't think I would have made it as a professional ballet dancer without physics. Mm. Like for instance, in a turn, knowing about moment of inertia, okay. right? The organization of your body around a, an axis. Yeah. And so if we understand that, oh, actually, if I'm more spread out, I create more resistance and I'll go slower. So if I create a big arms, then I go slowly. But if I bring it in, then I go much faster. Right. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Oh, I can do that too. I just have to stretch first. Yeah, we'll go with that. I love that you're so passionate about being a ballerina, but then you're also passionate about the science and applying these things together. It is just amazing. Aw, uh, thank you. I mean, my dream is to dance on the moon. So that is why I'm exploring dancing with robots. You're using robots in dance. Yes. Ah, uh, this is something I'd like to see. I'll show you. Can we dance out? Yeah, you can follow me. Ooh. Now it's time to meet Merritt's newest dance partner, but watch out for him. I hear he always steals the spotlight. Wow, so this is the robot. My goodness, I was expecting something a little more human when you said that you were dancing with a robot, but this has all sort of different axes, and that's so interesting. Yeah, it's a collaborative robot, so they sometimes call it a cobot. Oh. It's got six axes, so it can rotate in different ways. Does it have a name? Yes, Robot De Niro. Merit explains that to program Robot De Niro to move, you need to input data to a waypoint, which is a coordinate on a 3D model that tells each axis where to go. I'm so interested to see how you get this kind of robot to dance. Do we think he can do it? Let's see if he agrees. Yeah, <laughs> he wants to do it. <laughs> now we're going to put our moves to the test. Ladies, gentlemen, and cyborgs, Put your hands, or axes, together, because it's time for the world premiere of Robot De Niro and his backup dancers. Who knew robots had so much rhythm? Thank you so much, Dr. Moore, for telling me how you can combine physics and, and dance using this incredible robot. Bye. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.